what's happening? We're selling out. So let's get back to the fundamentals of the WTO and when it started. Um, after World War II, obviously our production was huge. And that Absolutely. was uh, mainly because of the war and producing things for the war. And then much of the rest of the world was decimated. Right. Um, and that's really what it comes back to is the fundamental problem here is that we basically dug ourselves into this hole. Uh, yes, we had to have an outlet for all of these things that we were producing. Um, we were producing more than we could consume here. Absolutely. So it was smart on that standpoint because we needed to, you know, export things and, and make money off of them, not just we, have it we need around market. store storehouses. Exactly. Correct. At the same time, uh, what what along the way let it get out of control? Basically, what, where did we go from it being beneficial to it completely tearing apart our economy? Well, there's no specific point. I can't say in January of 1972 free trade became bad. But I can say that in the 1970s and 80s, when the rest of the world began to develop, when the rest of the rest of the world began to produce its own capacity, the United States went from producing more than they could consume to consuming more than they could produce, which is what we absolutely do now. The vast majority of our uh, footwear, clothing, audio equipment, televisions, uh, even cars are produced either from foreign-owned companies or in foreign factories overseas. We ship a lot of freight to the United States, and we have the world's largest trade deficit because of that. It's, it's orders of magnitude larger than I think the second largest is Spain. And the United States is easily 10 or 20 times larger in their sheer trade deficit than, than every other country in the world. And what this has done has created where we used to have a stockpile of inventory that we had to sell. Now we have no inventory and nowhere to sell it. So. Free trade has allowed other countries to develop a lot more rapidly than the United States. Their growth rates are, are much higher. And because of that, they've sort of caught up to us and even surpassed us. So now we're just this, um, we're, we're a big consumer economy. We don't produce anything of importance. And uh, the rest of the world, for now, is financing that consumption. But if they ever choose to pull the plug, we'd have a real disaster on our hands.